just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wake hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social media. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. <laughs> 